We come now to questions for oral answer. The first in the name of Jamie Arbuckle. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Associate Minister of Health, what updates can she provide, if any, on the repeal of the Fewer, Fewer Periodics Products Act 2023? Honourable Casey Costello. Mr Speaker, the Government has committed to begin work to repeal the Therapeutic Products oh. Act 2023 within its first 100 days. I will be taking a paper to Cabinet next week seeking approval to progress this work. Excellent. Supplementary. Why does the Minister want to repeal the Therapeutics Products Act? Mr Speaker, the Therapeutic Products Act was not fit for purpose. Appropriate regulation of medicines and medical devices is vital to ensure that these products do what they claim a highly high quality and that product approval pathways do not make them inaccessible or unaffordable. We also know that the current fragmented and, fragmented and outdated approach to the regulation of natural health products means that New Zealand is missing out on a significant proportion of, of opportunity to grow jobs and the economy. We, we need to develop a fit for purpose regulatory system for both. Supplementary. Jamie Arbuckle. Will repealing the Therapeutics Product Act adversely impact medical safety or health outcomes of New Zealanders? Yes. Mr Speaker, <laughs> the Act has a commencement date of 1 September 2026, so no changes are required from the health sector or industry. I have received advice that implementing the changes required to meet the commencement date would have been extremely challenging. This poses the real possibility of poor outcomes for New Zealanders. Supplementary. How does the Minister intend to prog progress work on replacing the Therapeutics Products Act? Mr Speaker, the Government has an opportunity to replace the Therapeutics Products Act with legislation that protects consumers without creating unnecessary red tape on industry. We know that communities, the health sector and industry have concerns and we intend to listen to them, to those concerns, as we develop new proposals. Supplementary, right on to Winston Peters. So will Big Pharma, that's tried to control this part of the market in New Zealand for the last two and a half decades, be finally again put back in its place? Here, here. <laughs> Mr Speaker, we are confident we will have effective legislation that will deliver good outcomes. 